Well, this is not how I want my next video to turn out, but my G8 blew up. Yes, that's right, the G8 blew up. So, um, I did put old rods in this motor, which was kind of dumb on me. I didn't put the ARP main studs in it. Not main, the ARP crank connecting rod bolts or whatever you want to call them. I just slapped them together. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't expecting this to last as long as it did. But it blew up probably like a month ago. So I just haven't really wanted to touch it or work on it. But today, until then, I'm going to actually make a cross member for my manual swap. So I'm going to take the transmission out and get a cross member down and actually like fab up a cross member. So today this is going to be me taking a cross member out or a transmission out and I'll show you everything about it. But first I got to jack this thing up. So let me jack it up for y'all. So now that the car is in the air, um, First plan of attack is to get the exhaust off and how I made it is make it makes it really easy but it's all one piece from the collectors to the tailpipes so this is going to be a task a little bit getting it by myself. So the exhaust is off and I hope y'all weren't thinking that I was bullshit. This is a three inch full straight pipe with five inch tips. Huge boys. Huge, huge, huge. But uh, yes, custom exhaust. Now, um, super easy to get off. Uh, it's also very heavy, so I might want to upgrade this in the future. But not too bad. No complaints, but uh, that's one more thing off the list now. All right, so now the exhaust is off of it. I have to get the dry shaft off and I laid my little wobbly wobbly um somewhere. This is why this is why ADHD kills people. I don't think I don't think it actually kills people, but um I put something somewhere and put it back in the drawer. I never do that because I leave it out and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna need to use that here in the future. But I got the exhaust off and gotta get the dry shaft out. But I want to redo this. I'll show you better once it's out. But I gotta redo this cross member. I do not like it at all. So I want to do it and do it right. So we're gonna pop the drive shaft off right here. Push it back. Uh, get the trans jack under here. Lower the trans down a little bit and uh, get the shifter assembly off. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll go on from that and I'll put the GoPro up somewhere so you can see it. All right, well, I got the trans out last night. It absolutely fought me because the bell housing got hung up on the uh, heat shielding. So here it is out, um, take that off. And I broke my shifter, I think I have another one. Take that off and custom make another cross member. I had to cut that one up and everything. And we'll pressure wash the trans and pressure wash under the car, but GA content's back. Trying not to make a huge 
two total mess, but I know once I pull these hoses off, it's going to. Um, learned that my AC belt got wrapped around my crank. I don't know how. But let me show you guys the reason why I'm pulling this and going to try to fix it. So, oh, it would help if I didn't drop it. So, that, that's a little not supposed to look like that. But, yeah. I just had it in there so the cylinder stayed sealed, but. Yeah, we're, uh, that's why we're pulling it. I think it broke the rod, not 100% sure. It didn't drop the valve, which I'm, I'm happy about, really happy about. So that's a plus on it, I guess. But it's letting this thing drain on out. It sure is taking its sweet old time as well too, so. Once this gets drained, I'll pull the radiator off and then we can start taking off front stuff. And then the train is already out. So, I mean, this literally should just come right on out. No issues. Uh, I probably just screwed myself saying that, but hold on a second. We'll get this radiator off. So now I got access to everything on the front of the motor. Um, and now I can go back behind myself and see everything that I didn't do correctly and what needs to be addressed for next time. Wow. I had a lot of stuff leaking and didn't realize it. Oh well, well I'm start unplugging stuff. A lot of stuff. That wasn't supposed to be leaking. Alright, so I got the front of the motor. All the accessories off. Um, now all I have left before I pull it is to get the ground straps off, the starter off, and then the motor mounts. And I'm um, gonna pull it on out. I think that they didn't take it off too, so. One step closer to figure out what I messed up, so. come out easily. two hours but that's it for this video the next video I'm gonna be tearing this part just to see what went wrong but it is still turning over so that's a good sign fingers crossed um so hopefully everything is okay inside of it but we'll see film a video Sunday I will see you guys on Sunday deuces thanks for watching